there is something very irresistible about tesla model 3 that we just learned i want to share it with you friends the tesla model 3 is now cheaper than the toyota camry can you believe that and this is happening in california this is a major milestone for tesla as it means that the tesla model 3 is now within reach of wider range of buyers the model 3 is a great car with a long range a slick design and a luxurious interior it's also one of the safest cars on the road now that it's more affordable it's a no-brainer for anyone looking for a new car welcome back everyone this is armin harian from torque news I have a very interesting report coming from Reuters that the Tesla Model 3 just became less expensive than the price of the Toyota Camry in California thanks to the company's confirmation that each of the all-electric sedan stream levels qualifies for the full $7,500 tax credit. And if I am not mistaken, California is the largest automotive market per uh, state in the United States. Late last week, Tesla changed the language on its Model 3 design studio to reflect updated tax credit qualifications indicating that all three configurations of the sedan qualified for the full tax credit amount. Previously, only one variant, the performance stream, qualified for the full amount, while the other two builds were only set to receive half of $3,750 of the total credit. The updated credit amount with combined within with local incentive amount in some regions like California are helping Tesla vehicles reach price parity with gas cars. In some instances, they are even undercutting the cost of uh, some of the most popular sedans in the market in California, like the Toyota Camry. And as you know, Toyota Camry is a very popular vehicle. Reuters reported earlier today that the fueleconomy.gov website has officially updated its website to reflect the new Model 3 tax credit qualifications, which are enabled through the use of domestic battery packs in the vehicle. Previously, the lower two configurations of the Model 3 used batteries built in China. When the Model 3's rear-wheel drive trim level is purchased at its sticker price of $40,240, the federal tax credit of $7,500 and the California tax rebate of $7,500 brings the price down to $25,240, which undercuts the cost of the Camry, which is listed at $26,320 in its early level configuration. While other automakers are saying that price parity won't come until the end of the decade, remember my report yesterday? Tesla has seemingly already reached it with certain trim levels. The inclusion of the Model 3 receiving the full tax credit across the board is not only a huge disadvantage to competing EV makers, but also to the big petrol companies that have yet to source their vehicles completely from domestic regions that cannot offer comparable prices due to lack of scalability. Tesla's lead continues to grow with developments like this and it is only a wonder of a actually wonder of how long it will take for other companies to catch up. So again, just to wrap up everything, here are the main points. The Tesla Model 3 is now eligible for the $7,500 federal tax credit for electric vehicles. This brings the effective price of the car down to even lower level, making it cheaper in California than Toyota Camry. Tesla has been steadily increasing the range of the Model 3. The base model now has a range of 267 miles, while the long range model has a range of 358 miles. Tesla has been expanding its supercharger network, making it easier for Model 3 owners to travel long distances without having to worry about running out of power and if you are market for a new car tesla model 3 is definitely worth considering i think it's a great car and it's now more affordable than ever so far more affordable than the toyota camry let me know your thoughts what do you think about this let me know in the comment section below friends Tesla just had a wow moment in China. Look at Tesla's sales growth in China. In May 2023, Tesla sold over 77,000 vehicles in China, which is a 26.8% increase from April 2023. This is the highest monthly sales figure for Tesla in China, and it is a testament to the popularity of Tesla electric vehicles in the country. 
There are few reasons for Tesla's strong sales performance in China. First, the Chinese government is subsidizing the purchase of electric vehicles, which makes Tesla vehicles more affordable for Chinese uh, car buyers. Second, Tesla has been investing heavily in its production capacity at Gigafactory Shanghai in China, which has helped to meet the growing demand for its electric vehicles in the country. Third, Tesla has been expanding its network of superchargers in China, which makes it easier for Chinese consumers or car buyers to own and operate an electric vehicle in China. Forgive me for using that word consumer because I don't really like it. I would rather say for the, so Tesla has been expanding its network of superchargers in China, which makes it easier for Chinese car buyers to own and operate an electric vehicle there. Tesla's strong sales performance in China, friends, is a positive sign for the company. China is the world's largest automotive market and Tesla's success in China could help to boost its global sales. Additionally, Tesla's success in China could help to pave the way for the company to enter other major markets in Asia such as India and Japan. Now, here are a couple of more important points that I would like to share with you. Tesla's sales in China have grown by over 200% in the past year. Tesla is now the best-selling electric vehicle maker in China. Tesla Gigafactory Shanghai is the company's largest production facility. Tesla is planning to build a second Gigafactory in China or at least expanding its Gigafactory in China. Now, Tesla's success in China is a major achievement for the company. It is a testament to Tesla's innovative products, its strong brand and its effective marketing strategy. Tesla's success in China is also a sign of the growing popularity of electric vehicles around the world. What are your thoughts on the China wow moment for Tesla? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I think Tesla is testing and calibrating Cybertruck's production line. These casting images show, friends. I'm seeing and learning about some very unique things regarding the Tesla Cybertruck and want to share with you here, guys. Yesterday, Tesla Giga Texas drone operator Joe Techmeyer shared some very strange casting images from Giga Texas, which were neither Model Y nor Model 3. I asked Joe what they are and he said they belong to Cybertruck. Listen to what Joe told me and after I quote him, I will tell you the the real significance of these images and what Tesla may be very likely doing with the Cybertruck. This is going to be very revealing. So Joe told me rare casting tests for the Cybertruck are shown in these images. These castings are their bare form and haven't undergone the removal of excess flashing. These tests are likely among the initial casting trials conducted at the 9K Giga Texas facility. It's speculative, but this could indicate that tes uh, testing and calibration of production line machinery and related equipment are currently underway at Tesla Giga Texas. Taking into account the timeline for Model Y production line set up at Giga Texas, it is assumed that production line testing of uh, Cybertruck and calibration commenced in May. The first Complete assembly tests of Cybertruck will probably occur in July or August, initially on a small scale with a limited number of vehicles. Some of these test units may be sent for NHTSA crash testing during this timeline. It is important to note that uh, similar testing might already be in progress for Cybertrucks produced at the Fremont pilot line, but it may be necessary to conduct tests specifically for the Giga Texas produced versions as well. Following these steps, final preparation will be made to start delivering sellable Cybertrucks sometime between September and October of 2023. If these assumptions hold true, Tesla should be able to meet the delivery event they mentioned, which is expected to take place in the fourth quarter of this year. Now, the significance of what Joe told me regarding the Cybertruck lies in the information shared about the progress and potential timeline for its production at the Tesla Giga Texas facility. Here are the some of the key points Joe told me. Rare casting tests. The images shared depict the rare castings of the Cybertruck, which are undergoing testing 
and evaluation. This indicates that Tesla is actively working on the production of the vehicle's testings. Second, testing and calibration. The mention of testing and calibration by Joe suggests that Tesla is fine-tuning the production line machinery and related equipment at Giga Texas. This is an important step to ensure efficient and high-quality manufacturing. Third, production timeline assumptions. Based on the timeline of Model Y production at Giga Texas, the author assumes, I mean, Joe assumes that production line testing and calibrating began at Giga Texas in mid-May. I refer to the production line and testing and calibrating of Cybertruck. They speculate that the first test assembly of Cybertruck may occur in July or August with preparations for sellable units, sellable electric trucks from Tesla to be completed with between September and October of 2023. And finally, the fourth point that Joe is telling is the delivery event and quarter four target. Tesla has mentioned a delivery event for the Cybertruck in the fourth quarter of the year. The text suggests, I mean, he, what he says, suggests that if the assumption and timeline are accurate, Tesla should be on track to meet this target. So what do you think, friends? Are you excited that Cybertruck is about to hit production, full production, and sellable units to Cybertruck first buyers come deliver it to their homes? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, please.